Now that you know how the compersion operators work and how strings are converted to numbers and numbers to strings, let's uh, see a couple of examples how to things get compared and what the value is. So if you take this uh, compersion, the string 1, 2, dot 0 equal equal to 12. It's going to be true. Why is that? Because this is a numerical operator, right? So on the right hand side that's a number already. On the left hand, left hand side this is a string but it, turn, it needs to be turned to a number. And this, when it turns to a number, is equals to 12. So that's why this expression is going to be true. On the other hand, if you use the EQ operator, which com compares two strings, then this, the left hand side is already a string. The right hand side needs to be turned into a string, which is 1, 2 as a string. But then these two strings are not the same, because 1 is equal to 1, 2 is 2, but then here there's a dot 0 and there's no dot 0. So this expression is going to be false. Checking whether 2 is smaller than 3, then obviously you get a true because 2 is, well, smaller than 3. If you do it with LT, which is comparing them according to the ASCII table, that's true again, because 2 comes before 3 in the table. If you check whether 12 is bigger than 3, well, that's true, because the number 12 is bigger than 3. But if you check it with g greater than, then you get that it's false. And that might surprise you, or might not. The reason that it's uh, false is because the way it compares strings is it compares the first character with the first character. And the character 1 is before character 3 in the ASCII table. And that already makes this decision. So this string actually is before this string. So it's less than. That's why this is false. So you have to be careful how you compare things. You have to know, remember, that uh, something is a string or you want to compare that as a, as a string or as a number. Now if you compare the string foo with the empty string, you might be surprised that you get a true. Actually, you not only get a true, you also get a warning. And you get a warning because this is a numerical operation and you are trying to convert strings to this number, to this number operator, while those both sides, the strings, none of them are real numbers. They don't look like number. So this will be zero because there's nothing in it. But because there is no number on the left hand side of the string, this will convert to zero as well. So this is the reason that zero equals zero will give you a true. This you have to remember so not to compare strings with equal equal. At least you get the warning. Of course if you, you had used EQ then you would get a false here. The same here. If you compare the string foo with the same with the string bar using equal equal you will get true and the warning or actually true. If you use them with EQ then you get a false as you ex expected. There is one example here that shows a very common mistake people might make who don't remember this rule. Uh, let's say you, you read in the input, you're chomping out the new line, and then for some reason you're trying to check whether the user gave you empty string or not. And then you're checking it like this, equal, equal. That's not good. That's not good, you have to use equal, EQ. And the reason this is not good, because if the, if the user types in some name, let's say foo, because you asked for her name, then the string foo is going to be equal with the numerical operator to the empty string, because they will bo both will valued as zero. So remember, when you're trying to compare things, most li mostly and most of the time you actually have to use the EQ and very rarely the numerical operator, though there are cases, as you can see here, when you really want to check whether these two numbers are equal, and then you are using that one.